Hi guys, I'm Julie Beeler. After a crazy wild card round of games, can we expect anything more from the divisional round? Well, let's talk about it. Let's start in the NFC and Saturday's game as the Saints head to San Francisco to take on the 49ers. Now, this is the first postseason berth for the 49ers since 2002, and they're taking on a red-hot Saints offense. And we know that Drew Brees set numerous records this past season. In fact, he may have set a record for setting records, but he's taking an important one into candlestick this weekend. 215 consecutive postseason passes without throwing an interception. Meanwhile, he's going to face a team that's number two in the NFL in collecting interceptions. So what gives? Well, I have to think that Jim Harbaugh, who is incredible at knowing when to push the buttons and when to ease off the throttle to keep his team ready and focused, he's going to have his team ready for the Saints. The Saints Postseason road record is 0-4 after this weekend. I expect it to go 0-5. And the 49ers move on to the NFC Championship game. Let's talk about the other game now in the NFC with the New York Giants heading to Lambeau. First time they're in Lambeau uh, in the postseason since 2007, the Giants' improbable Super Bowl run. Guys, the one seed in the NFC is 18-3 since 1990. But those three upsets have come in the last five years, so it's a growing trend of upheaval in the NFC. However, this particular week for the Packers has been very traumatic as their offensive coordinator lost a son. No stat is going to tell the story. Packers have more to play for than just football, and they advance to the NFC Championship game as well. All right, next we'll talk about the AFC games and give you a little more insight into the Broncos Patriots. I'm Julie Beeler. Thanks for watching.